I'm Simon Chowdhury. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Two people are recovering after a seaplane slammed into a cluster of boats Saturday on Upper Straits Lake. That's in the city of Orchard Lake. Police say the pilot was trying to land on the lake. The pilot and another person were hurt, but amazingly, there were no serious injuries. The FAA is now investigating. Four men from Detroit have been arrested on drug charges in a raid near the campus of Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia. The men are accused of packaging and selling drugs at two different locations. During the bus, detectives recovered heroin, marijuana and cash. Changes are coming to graduation at the University of Michigan Dearborn. The school says it will have one large graduation ceremony in the spring and will no longer hold ceremonies in December. The school says the move will save money that can be used for things like increasing financial aid. Dave. Weather-wise, it's going to be an interesting day. Hot and sticky, absolutely. Upper 80s feel like the low 90s this afternoon, but... Uh, there is concern about storms and some of those that could be severe, especially beyond two o'clock here uh, through the evening hours. We're under a slight risk. Uh, the issues here would most likely be winds that could go to 70 miles an hour, or hail that could be an inch or larger. Both of those obviously can do some damage. So watch to the west. Storms will be moving west to east around 30, 35 miles an hour, maybe even 40 miles an hour. So if your skies get dark to your west, pay attention to that and make sure that you're uh, keeping track of what's going on. 88 today again feels like the low 90s. Afternoon storms could be severe. This morning there be, should be a few thunder showers in areas like Lenaway, Monroe County, maybe Washington on Wayne as well. But the big picture is focused on this afternoon. Still in the mid 80s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with a slight chance of rain. People from all over the world gathered for the 25th anniversary of the Woodward Dream Cruise. An estimated 40,000 bright and beautiful rides cruised down Woodward Avenue Saturday as spectators looked on in awe. The classics like old school Chevy Impalas and Corvettes received a lot of love and their owners love the reactions. We have complete coverage of the cruise on our website at WXYZ.com. Those are your headlines. Make sure you visit our website again at WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day.